Hi, YouTube. How are you? It is Lamar Townsend. I'm back with another video. There have been rumors. I've been hearing people asking me, you know, hearing other people just randomly talk about it in, in you know, conversation, videos, and things like that, that um, there's fear of another lockdown, all right, from COVID. So I figured I'd come on and, you know, just do a quick reading about it and see is there going to be another lockdown? What is in store? What can we expect? What is the psychic tea? Let's get into it. I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. If you would like a personal reading from me, then definitely check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. I am available readings. I am available for readings, and I would love to read for you. So if you would like a reading, check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. This is my website. I clearly like to post a lot of food, the foods I make on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram, but also follow me on my Twitch, obviously YouTube, Patreon, Spotify, um, I have a podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google, Anchor, and more, also um, I have an Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, Vimeo, and other platforms as well, so I'm all over the internet. Also, check out my store section to directly purchase your reading from me um, and view all my rates and services and products that I offer. As you can see, I do birth chart readings, mediumship readings, I make jewelry, I do past life readings, I do psychic tarot readings, all different types of psychic tarot readings, I do a dream interpretation readings and spell work, candle work, and things of that nature. I also do tarot classes. Classes are also available on my Patreon, so if you want to learn how to read tarot, reach out to me, get a reading, or get a class session with me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I also do sell evil eye necklaces, and um, if you want to know about the evil eye, I just did a really, really good um, reading on ancient Greece on my Patreon, for example, today, so I would go check that out to learn more about the evil eye. But anyway, um, I also sell African black soap on my website, so if you'd be interested in that, check out my website. I have a lot going on, as you can see. I'm a whole business over here. So today's business is to learn, is there another lockdown? Let's go ahead and get into the reading. Um, because I want this to be quick, because I still have other things to do, other content to post and clients to get to, I'm going to refrain from pulling an oracle card. Also, for some reason, I think spirit doesn't want me to pull an oracle card. They want me to just go right to the reading. So I'm going to just follow spirit's orders as usual. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the sex when you pass reading in Jesus' name. Um, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, the Mother, the Daughter, the Holy Ghost, Amen, Amen, and Amen. That's my new thing is to wear, uh, say Mother and Daughter, Mother, the, the Mother, the Daughter, the Holy Ghost. Because the Mother gives birth. The Mother is important too, as is the Daughter, right? So Spirit, you know, I'm following Spirit's orders as usual. All right. Is there going to be another lockdown? What message does Spirit, the Ancestors, and Protectors have to tell us about Women up is going to be another lockdown. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energies, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, the Father, the Mother, the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, if you want a personal reading, LamarTownsendTarot.com. I am available for readings. And I'm currently not booked up. So book your reading now before I get too booked up. And there may be a little bit of a wait, a few days wait, depending on what type of reading you get. Not too long. I'm really fast, you know, with my reading, getting my readings back out, as you will hear. All right. What's going on with another lockdown? Gonna be another lockdown spirit. Should we prepare for another lockdown? What does the spirit have to say? What message does the spirit have? In the name of Jesus. I get the two of cups, so I feel like there's something where, you know, for the last year or so, or for the last month, for the last week, uh, you know, uh there's something where we, we're kind of getting used to being able to, you know, just you know, get back into the swing of touching one another and, you know, holding hands and hugging and kissing and being able to, you know, maybe not wear masks or wear masks, you know, like, you know, now it's, it's wear masks again. So, you know, but it's like we're kind of getting used to the way life used to be, which was 
a life that was more touchy feely. We didn't have to worry about not seeing each other. We didn't have to worry about quarantining and being in lockdown. So it's like there's definitely a des- not a desire to have another lockdown in terms of the public's opinion is what I get immediately. Um there's also, I feel like, if there were to be a lockdown, there's too like there's a lot to get done. There's there's a lot from the previous lockdowns where like a lot of stuff was backed up, like maybe the court systems. I don't know why I'm getting marriages with the two of cups coming out, um, divorces and things like that. That it's just kind of like it's pending, it pending, it needs to end. There's deadlines, and it's like we need to get all of this done in terms of governmental, you know, things like that, before there could even be another lockdown. It's like, I don't think the public wants it, but it's like also certain people behind the scenes don't want it because it's like we have too much to catch up on. Like we're still trying to catch up from things three weeks ago, three months ago, six weeks ago, six months ago. The moon is up in the air. I think one of the biggest factors about um, maybe deciding against it is the economy, how much can the economy take of another lockdown? Can the economy take another lockdown? Will it be able to recover another, you know, from another one? Um, there's something also about reversing, reversing the damage that was done from the previous lockdown. Because I feel like if there's another lockdown, like I feel like not, there were a lot of companies that had to close during the previous lockdown, you know, a lot of places that had to close. So I feel like it's kind of like, do we need, can can the economy go through another wave of that, like, kind of thing? It's like, I don't know, and I keep getting the number two, so it could be maybe the next two weeks, two months. It could be two years. I don't think it's necessarily two years. It's supposed to be, like, the next two weeks, two months in particular are either going to be really shaky or are going to be the testing periods of whether or not we need to, actually. All right, but I feel like, once again, money is involved or, or is a big determining factor here along with things backed up in the system, things backed up that need to move forward in terms of deadlines and governments and policies and um, judicial things. And, like, I like that's what I'm seeing. And other companies trying to catch up on what they, you know, um, lost during uh, the previous lockdowns. I get the chariot. So, um There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of conflicting information. There could be a lot of conflicting information, particularly with traveling. Um, Don't travel, do travel. Travel now. Before the lockdown starts, there's not going to be a lockdown. Like, so why? What's what's the big humdrum? It's like there's a lot of conflicting information out there. Um, What I get, though, is that there's going to be something with traveling. There's going to be something with traveling and moving. Like, I feel like kind of like before the lockdown, there's a lot of like people with the mindset of before the lockdown happens, I need to do this. I want to do this. I need to sell my house. I need to move. I need to travel. I need to, like, there's a lot of like this. So it's almost like the propaganda or the anxiety of it all is causing people to make certain decisions in terms of traveling, moving that feels very, like, sudden, impulsive. Maybe not for everyone. Maybe some people, it's like, okay, I've been thinking about this. Now that I'm hearing there's another lockdown, now might be a good time to do it. So it's like, I get a Queen of Cups. So this would be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio woman or a Cancer woman in particular. Someone that deals with family, someone that deals with maybe children in the home, mothers, a pregnant woman, um, possibly. Um, something dealing maybe with the water. I hear contaminated water. Contaminated water. Um, I kind of feel like, I don't know if, like, so this is what I get. I feel like a worldwide lockdown, this is what they're, like, second-guessing on. I feel like there's something about a state-by-state lockdown, country-by-country lockdown that could be implemented, yes. I see something, though, with water. So it kind of feels like there's something where it's like, oh, my God, there's contaminated water. There's something with the water we need to lock down. 
So it's like even when you think it's not just the COVID or the corona you have to worry about, there's something else that swings in. It's like lockdown. So, you know, it doesn't exacerbate anything else, including the COVD and the, the Rona. So it's just a lot. It's a lot going on. Um, I feel like we might see an influx in certain states that maybe aren't used to seeing such an influx. Um There also could be something with the vaccine. Like, I feel like there's something with the lockdown and vaccine. Like, something with that. But I don't, I, I, what I'm, I'm not seeing the whole world going on another lockdown. I don't see that in the near future. I'm not seeing that in the near future, so I can't confidently say that. I see a state-by-state thing. I do feel like by the new year, 2022, though, we're going to start to see in the long run, we're going to start to see success in maybe numbers dropping, actually. All right. Definitely there's good news by February, March, April of next year, 2022. So it's a long term. Right now we're in a, in a place as a society in the world, as the United States, because this is where I'm from, the United States, where it's like, okay, we're, it's like, you know, we're we're still in a bit of a rocky place, you know, you know, recovering from Miss Rona, um, recovering the economies and all these different businesses. But it's like, these next several weeks, months, you know, are really crucial to make smart decisions and not impulsive or drastic decisions in order to play the long-term game so that long-term we recover exponentially or that we recover full force, if that makes sense. So right now I feel like everyone's kind of looking long-term. So long-term, for example, would it be a good idea to maybe do another lockdown worldwide for the economies or for the economy? Probably not the best idea if we're wanting to recover long-term, right? Um, That's what I'm seeing. So there's something with that. I do feel like a state by state. I hear something with Texas could happen. California, of course. Um, I don't know why I literally just heard Saudi Arabia. Um, Indiana, Indonesia, um, Kansas, Oregon, Florida, Miami, they say. Um, New York, New Jersey, mm, just kind of scanning and seeing what else, Dakota, they say, um, and I hear Wyoming. There's something going to happen in these places. I don't think it's necessarily like a spike, you know, in uh, cases, but I think it could be something where, like, there's an influx of people moving here. It's like, why are people moving here? An influx of people moving out. Or there's just going to be some changes in these these areas over these next several weeks, months, um, maybe definitely years due to either these lockdowns due to, or it could be something with lockdowns or um due to the, the, the you know us recovering from the virus as a whole as a collective so that's what i see all right i hope i was able to give you guys some clarity and insight on this um this reading all right um let me just kind of see what else, what other things spirit wants to channel through I don't know why they're saying if you have pets that roam the neighborhood or roam the streets and you kind of, or even like that go outside the vicinity of your backyard or your front yard and you like, you know, come back home, be careful because they could, I don't want to say they could be necessarily carrying 
the R O N A, but it's like they could just like germs. I hear germs. Like be careful with that. Like wash them down if you're gonna, you know, have them do that. I would hope people also have wised up in this era that we're in and realize maybe that's not been the safest thing. You know, there was a period where we learned that the uh, pets can get them, and there's so much conflicting information. They can, they can't. Just, I'm seeing, I'm hearing. Be careful with that. Um. It's almost like they're saying that, like, oh, my gosh. It's almost like I don't know if you all put the pets on lockdown, but Spirit is literally saying the pets need to go on lockdown, too, or the pets needed to go on lockdown, too, should have gone on lockdown, too. It's interesting because my cat is a – is a um. Is a house cat. I, he never leaves the house, but I, like – Oh, that's interesting. Okay. They're just saying be careful with that. But and they keep showing me water, shower water. Like maybe get a filter if you can. Um, they're saying something about shower water, filter. Filter, get a filter. Um And I'm seeing something about particularly new homes as well. Newly moved in homes, newly built homes, filter, filter, filter. They're saying old homes, filter, filter, filter for your water. No matter where you live. This is just a collective kind of thing. All right, spirit. All right, you guys. Well, that's all I have for you. Thank you for listening and watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, if you want a personal reading from me, my website is lamartownsendtarot.com. All right. I appreciate you guys for listening and watching. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Love and light.